from recasting the main actor on The Witcher to the creation of another spin-off. This is everything you need to know about The Witcher creators making another spin-off. Netflix's The Witcher was once beloved, but it now finds itself amidst a barrage of criticisms. The trouble began with Henry Cavill, who portrayed Geralt of Rivia, abruptly left the show for undisclosed reasons. Since then, The Witcher has been plagued by a series of problems and setbacks. Before we get to the spin-offs, let's discuss why they are even needed in the first place. From Cavill's exit to the introduction of Liam Hemsworth, the show's troubled behind-the-scenes dynamics and disenchanted fan base, The Witcher has been facing an uphill battle. Distressingly, it appears that the show may be on the brink of a major decline. While originally intended to span seven seasons, reports now suggest that the upcoming fifth season will mark the series' final chapter. It seems Henry Cavill's departure may prove to be a fatal blow to The Witcher. Initial fan disappointment targeted Henry Cavill for abandoning The Witcher to revive his Superman career. However, subsequent reports indicated that his departure was motivated by dissatisfaction with the show's deviation from the source material, rather than his commitment to Superman. Despite fan disapproval, The Witcher pushed forward, recasting the role of Geralt of Rivia with Liam Hemsworth. However, the series now finds itself in another predicament, with its future shrouded in uncertainty. Season 5 featuring Hemsworth is currently in development, as is the season following it. But beyond that, nothing can be guaranteed. Given Netflix's tendency to film final seasons back-to-back, -back, Hemsworth's involvement might be limited to just two seasons. With mounting criticism, one wonders if fans will accept the show's potential cancellation. Many supporters believe that The Witcher should have concluded after the third season rather than replacing Cavill. The divided opinions surrounding the show's future add further complexity to the situation. Henry Cavill's departure from The Witcher transformed the landscape dramatically. Rumors circulated about the actor's alleged unprofessional behavior towards the show's team, particularly female members. A leaked podcast transcript from Dumois painted Cavill in a negative light, suggesting toxic behavior and rewriting scenes without informing fellow cast members. However, his co-star Anya Chalotra had a contrasting view, describing Cavill as humble, wonderful, approachable, and down-to-earth. Cavill's dedicated fan base tends to dismiss the rumors. On the other hand, there are those who remain hopeful that the show can find its footing with Hemsworth in the role. They urge fellow fans to give the new actor a chance and trust in the creative direction of the series. They argue that change is inevitable in the world of entertainment, and that The Witcher has the potential to reinvent itself and deliver captivating storytelling even without Cavill's presence. As the controversy and uncertainty surrounding The Witcher continue to unfold, the fate of the show rests in the hands of its creators, Netflix, and the viewers themselves. Will Hemsworth be able to win over the skeptics and breathe new life into Geralt of Rivia? Or will the departure of Henry Cavill ultimately mark the beginning of the end for this once beloved series? Only time will tell. What we do know is that more than 15,000 fans of The Witcher have voiced their discontent by signing a petition calling for Henry Cavill's return. The petition aims to reach 25,000 signatures, with angry viewers expressing frustrations and demanding action against the show's writers and Liam Hemsworth. Hemsworth's casting change led to fans threatening to boycott the show. Fans argue that Cavill's deep understanding of the source material and dedication are crucial for the show's success. Henry Cavill will continue as Geralt in the upcoming third season before passing the role to Liam Hemsworth for the fourth season. The future of The Witcher will be defined by Netflix's ability to respond to fan feedback and address their concerns. The streaming platform has the opportunity to course correct, demonstrating their commitment to delivering a quality adaptation of Andrzej Sapkowski's fantasy world. Whether they choose to stick with Hemsworth or reconsider Cavill's involvement, it is imperative for the show's creators to regain the trust of the fan community and deliver a fourth season that honors the beloved source material. On a different note, The Witcher franchise is expanding with new live-action spin-offs, a new prequel exploring the Rats, a group of young Nilfgaardian misfits, is also in development to bridge the gap between the upcoming seasons. The Rats are a notorious group of young Nilfgaardian misfits featured in series storyline in the Witcher book series. In The Witcher Season 3, they will be introduced in Episodes 7 and 8 when Ciri first encounters them. The Rats will also play a significant role in the upcoming Season 4. The new spinoff will explore the Rats' characters, but it is unclear whether it will be their origin story or their time with Ciri in before Season 4. Christelle Elwin is cast as Missile, the first Rat announced who will have a significant role due to her connection to Ciri. Fabian McCollum will play Kaylee, known for his attempt to commit a terrible act in Time of Contempt and adopted son of the Castellan of Ebbing. 
Reef will be played by Juliet Alexandra, a Nilf guardian who served the usurper before being wounded and abandoned on enemy territory and saved by Kaylee. Aggie K. Adams is speculated to play Iskra, an exiled elf who joined the rats. Asa, a blacksmith's son, and Geseller, the group's leader and oldest member, complete their rats cast. With an incoming new spin-off, let's take a look at the reactions to Blood Origin. The Witcher Blood Origin has faced severe criticism from fans and critics alike, leading many to question what went wrong with this Netflix original series. Serving as a prequel to The Witcher, the show is set 1200 years before the events of the main series, aiming to explore the conjunction of the spheres and the origins of the first Witcher. However, it has fallen short in several aspects, contributing to its negative reception and potential impact on the franchise's fan base. A significant issue that plagued Blood Origin was the limited time for character and plot development across its four episodes. Consequently, the ending feels unearned, with the plot and characters suffering from generic arcs and underdevelopment. The series missed opportunities for thorough world-building, failing to explain crucial aspects of the world at that time, such as the absence of humans on the continent. Vague descriptions of a thousand-year war and the emergence of a golden empire only scratch the surface of the potential richness of the setting. The exploration of the low-born versus high-born theme also remains superficial, lacking in-depth examination of the ethical complexities associated with social hierarchy. Blood Origin appears to have suffered from rushed production, which further contributed to its underdevelopment. The use of CGI, notably in the portrayal of the unnamed monster wiping out monarchies in the pilot episode, fell short of expectations. While some scenes showcase beautiful shooting locations, the series as a whole lacked cohesion and suffered from generic writing, creating a sense of corniness. The limited episode count and rushed production undermined the show's overall quality. Another critical issue with Blood Origin lies in its one-dimensional and unoriginal characters. The constraints of the limited episodes played a role, but ultimately it comes down to poor writing. The introduction of new characters not present in Andrzej Sapkowski's novels required sufficient screen time and relevant dialogue to establish their backstories and create audience investment. However, these characters were given vague and generic backgrounds, resulting in minimal depth and an overall feeling of unimportance. The lack of explanation and exploration of character motivations and backstories weakened the audience's connection to the characters. The absence of depth in characters, plot, and world-building in Blood Origin contributes to its lack of originality. The use of narration attempts to provide depth but ultimately falls short, feeling forced and unoriginal. The show's themes are underdeveloped, contributing to the sense that the story lacks meaningful impact. The series ends up feeling like a collection of worn-out fantasy tropes, driven by a skeletal plot and failing to carve out its own significance. It falls into the familiar pattern of a group of outcasts fighting against an evil empire to save the common people. As the Witcher franchise moves forward, the lessons learned from the criticisms of Blood Origin should be considered to avoid a further decline in the fan base's support. Addressing the issues of underdeveloped plot, lack of character depth, and originality will be crucial in ensuring that success and longevity of the franchise. So, from recasting the main actor on The Witcher to the creation of another spin-off, this was everything you need to know about The Witcher creators making another spin-off.